Hey guys, we're here with Jane Espenson, who you may know from Once Upon a Time, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and all of your favorite shows. One of our editors recently wrote a piece about how Once Upon a Time doesn't have any true gay romances. Mm -hmm. And coming from you know Team Husbands, do you right. think that that's something the show is lacking, especially being on ABC with Grey's Anatomy, Modern Family, with right. these great gay couples? What right. is your stance on that? Uh, I would love to see Once Upon a Time have a gay couple, and I, I can definitely see it happening. Obviously, it's a very fine line to walk. Being able to write that, the, right. I know that you are have some hard time being able to say like, oh, that will happen because it's right. a, something that doesn't it, really make sense of the characters. Well, and it's it's a long again, it's it's an ever question. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but I think that. I love all the ships. I see all the pairings. Like they all make sense to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a matter of yeah, what's going to make sense for our show? What can we expect going into season three with all these twists and turns that have been pushed up? I know you probably haven't done a lot of writing yet, but right. is there anything that you can? You are really excited to explore in season three with Neverland and with everything yeah. else. Well, yeah, the end of season two, uh, they're taking off for uh, Neverland, and so, the, yeah, that season three is that adventure, and I really think people are going to love where we're going in season three. Um, we are really focusing in on the emotional arcs of these characters, particularly yeah. our core characters. And we're used to seeing uh, fairy tales flipped on their head on Once Upon a Time. Right. Um, some are more traditional, but with Peter Pan, he's like this evil shadow. Is that something that kind of came to fruition early on? Or you just decided Hook was going to be a little bit nicer and not so evil and Peter Pan was going to be like this crazy fake character? Well, we always like to play, or we often like to play characters sort of against type. So when yeah. we did Little Red Riding Hood, we revealed that she's also half part-time the wolf. <laughs> Um, and so we like to figure what, sort of what's a new take on this character. And also, um, Emily D. Ravine recently said that she's going to be sticking on a series regular. You'll see a lot of her, and she's kind of running the town. Will she be mayor? Will she just be putting this, this sheath on the town to save them? Uh, do you see Belle being able to take charge in this new role? Yeah, it's Emily DeRaven, and yeah, I, I think Belle is a very strong person and a strong character. and. Uh, uh, I can't say yet what her role is going to be back in the town, but she's been yeah, left in charge of a town. Are Rumpel and Belle doomed? Is like, should Rumpel fans go and cry in the corner now? Because <laughs> it, it seems that if Rumpel leaves, he's acting like he's never coming back. Do you think that that's the case, or should we be so scared? <laughs> I think fans should always be scared. Um, but no, there's no, it's just, you know, shows are on the air for like seven years, so. Yeah. The notion that we would take a beloved couple, split them up now, and never give them a scene together again, doesn't that's not how I would play it. Yeah. So I'd be I'd be surprised if that were the case. Mm -hmm.